In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to add score when your word intersects with this red line. So first things first, all right, just, let's just get the current y-axis of this red line. So current axis is 327, y-axis, sorry, y-axis. So line 1, its current y-axis is 327. And over here, the y-axis is 225. So, y-axis is 225, right? Now, let's now have another layer in which we would now display the score. So, I'll create now a new layer, and then I'll call the score. And over here, I'll have a text file, and then just type any letter you like. There you go. Let's name that one here. All right. If you want, you could choose a color. But in this case, if you're using Flash CS4 or later purpose or um, more later advanced versions, you have to embed this one. You have to embed your font. So click on embed and just click all, then press OK. Now for this one, I want the instance name to be called as score text. All right? Make sure this is a dynamic text in order for your score to update. So over, over here on the actions layer, let's, let's add a code and then, sorry, let's now have a variable called my score. So variable my score that could be any name you like. Make that as an integer and since we are not, we don't have a score yet, make that zero. All right. Next, we want the score to be displayed here. On our instance name scored text. So just typed in here score underscore text dot text is equal to your variable my score. But since we are now we are now converting a text value into a score, into a numerical value, you have to type in here string. There you go. So notice, if I play my movie, there you go, that is zero, all right? If you want, if you make this 10, for example, notice what happens to the score. There you go, it's 10. But in our case, let's make that zero. All right, now let's have a function in which now the bird intersects with the pipes and lines. All right, so I'll type in your function. Let's call this as intersect, intersects pipes and lines. And then since this is an event that happens all throughout, just type here event, small caps, and then event. Since we're not returning any values, void, open and close parenthesis. All right. Now, what we want now to happen is if our bird if intersects or hit this our objects. All right. So hit this object meaning if our bird intersects hit this object hit test object. All right. With our line, so line one, then what do you want to happen? We want our score, our variable my score, to increase by one. Right? If you want, you could shorten this code and make that as plus equals one. Alright? Now once you have incremented your score by one, you need to update your dynamic text called score text. So I'll simply copy this one and then paste it here. Alright, now once we have written our function, who do we want our function? Who do we want our function to run? We want the stage to run the function. So stage dot add event listener and then event enter frame since this happens all throughout the frame and comma we want the stage to run our function intersects pipe and line. So copy that one and paste it here. Now let's see if that works. Notice my score. Oops. So let's see, syntax error, 
right parenthesis before dot. Let's see. Event. So this should be. Yep. This should be a semicolon. There you go. All right. Now notice now if I intersect with the red line. There you go. My score increases. However, notice it increases by by not just one, but by multiple times. In order to fix that one, a while ago, we recorded the y-axis of our lines. So what we need to do now is to put the line outside the stage. So type in here, line dot line one dot x is equal to sorry, dot y is equal to negative 100. This now puts your line outside the stage. Now, when do we want it to come back under the stage? If you remember, we have a condition here, here on our move pipes and lines, that once your line exceeds the stage, it will now go back to the 800th x coordinate. Then, what you need now to do is on line 1, so line 1 dot y is equal to 327. So that is the current y-axis of our stage, of our line that is within the stage. So it's equal to 327. What this does is it puts the line back to your stage. So if you test that one, oops, there you go, all right? So notice, there you go. All right, now, I'll do the same thing for line 2. So I'll simply copy this one and then make this as line 2, line 2. And then the y-axis of our line is 225, 5. So, mm -hmm. so over here, just type in line 2.y is equal to 125. So notice now, you could now add score. There you go, all right? Now, on the next lesson, what we want to happen is once our bird falls or intersects with the pipes, we will now go to a frame called game over. All right, so I'll see you in the next lesson.